Hi, I'm Bob Mulrooney, Extension Plant Pathologist at the University of Delaware, and we're here today to talk about taking survey samples for nematodes. What are nematodes? Nematodes are these tiny microscopic roundworms that live in the soil and can be very yield limiting when susceptible crops are grown and they're very high populations of these little critters in the soil. The best time is really in the fall after the crop is harvested but before there's any fall tillage which can dilute the nematodes. And the only way that you can really know if you have them in your field is by testing. The best way to sample for nematodes is actually with a soil probe, taking 20 to 25 cores in a zigzag pattern throughout the field. Take the sample with the soil probe between the plants in the row. And we want to sample about six to eight inches deep, and then we just take the core and just throw it in the bucket. Once the soil cores have been taken, the best thing to do is then just, the sample needs to be mixed together to get a uniform sample and then with just a, a, a measuring cup, I use a, just an eight ounce yogurt cup, what we want are, is a pint of soil, two cups, can then be placed in a, a Ziploc plastic bag or a nematode sampling bag that can be purchased from the county extension offices. It's best to keep the sample from drying out and it can be kept in the refrigerator until it can be sent to the lab. Remember we said that nematode numbers are highest in the fall, and this is really true for root knot nematodes. If root knot nematode is the target nematode, then it's really important that you take the samples in the fall because they do not overwinter as larvae, but as eggs. So the numbers are extremely low, or you might not find them at all if samples are taken in the spring. We just demonstrated taking nematode samples where you've got a crop planted in a row. But in the case of soybeans, where soybeans are planted in very narrow rows or drill beans, that's really not necessary. It's best, to, if you can find the stubble, to actually take the sample through the root system of the plant. The thing, too, about taking samples for, in soybeans is the primary target that we're looking for here is soybean cyst nematode in most cases. And since they are not affected by freezing temperatures like the other nematodes are, samples can be taken any time of the year that the, sample, that the soil is not frozen or extremely dry. If you're sampling for soybean cyst nematode, it's really important that you let us know that by indicating it on the nematode assay information sheet. If that's the case, we'll do an egg assay, which is a lot more sensitive for finding low populations of soybean cyst nematode.